welcome back to my channel. Um, excuse the view, we are on the other side of the table. So this is what I see when I film. Um, I am gonna do a proper like palette collection video um, and possibly declutter. I may, in the process of opening all of my palettes, decide to get rid of a few more. Um, I did pull a couple out of my declutter back into my collection. I'll show those um, when we get to them and I may change my mind and put them back. That's how it goes. That's why I tend to hold on to my declutter items for a little bit to really make sure I want to get rid of them so I don't have like regret, but I'm going to shoot it from above. I will open every single palette. Again, I may end up decluttering a few more, so you won't see this after the intro. But yeah, if you want to see my full collection, we're talking 200 plus palettes. Again, I'm going to show the insides. I'm going to try and not swatch too many. If there's some super special shades, I may swatch a couple of things here and there because I'm hoping that this video is not going to be too terribly long. So yeah, let's jump okay, into so the video. first little bit is just stuff that I have prepped for videos. So we have the um, Glam Light Friday the 13th looks like this. Club Nebula, um, and this is the Kaleidos uh, with Angelica Nyquist. I think this was one of her first collabs. Obviously, I'm comparing it to the Friday the 13th. And then the Blend Bunny Sugar and Grunge, also a good alternative to the Friday the 13th. There will be a video coming for those. Okay, let's see. I'm just going to pop them put it back on the cart now so they're out of the way and then these are also prepped for a video I'm going to do one on dark and glam again I have their creep show palette looks like this their shimmer formula like they have a really good press glitter formula if you like press glitters but their shimmer formula is actually really nice I think compared to like creature cosmetics this is their newer one which is why I want to at least newer to me. It's not new to the website, but the Goosebumps Haunted Mask. They also have a Say Cheese and Dye palette, but this one I thought had, like these were all pressed glitters. They're not. This is the only one. And then the shimmers, I'll swatch one in this palette, are so pretty. So I really wanted to pick this up. Again, they have a Say Cheese and Dye one also that's, you know, red and a little more neutral, but so I do have a video coming with this and then I'm going to show my other palettes. So obviously that's why they're all out here. So this is the Conjuring Universe palette that they did. Again, it's got these two are like duochromes and then some more standard shimmers, but they do have some nice like special shades. Creature Cosmetics. This one I like better than the palette. This is a little Frankie, Freaky Frank. This was part of their like Monster Baby collection. Their shimmers are okay. I think the shimmer in this one is the best that I've come across from the brand, but this is the ripped from the 90s palette from them. I was gonna declutter it and I pulled it back in, mainly for this video, but they have a very like standard, old school, traditional like satiny shimmer formula, and then there's a press glitter. So for the price point, I think Dark and Glam is better. Just a little spoiler for that video. Okay, oh, goodness. Moves. What did I drop? Oh, the little duo. Okay. And then I have a few more that are prepped for videos. So we have the Kylie Nightmare on Elm Street palette. The Earthy palette by Beauty Bay. Um, this is, what is this one? The Freddy Krueger palette. So you can see why I have the Earthy out. The Dream Master. I am going to do a video on these still, and obviously you can see what palettes I'm comparing them to. So this is the Waiting Room from Melt Cosmetics for their Beetlejuice collection. Looks like that. You can see the inside was very reminiscent. And then because I usually compare Glam Light palettes to Jeffree Star, not on purpose, that's just kind of been the nature. I think the Friday the 13 palette's the only one that I don't have a palette of his to compare but I did pull out blood sugar just because of the red and then I do think I don't think blood sugar is comparable to the um dream master but I do think the green one is like a good 
alternative for the Freddy Krueger palette because you got the greens and you've got a black. Um, so this one I think is probably a little bit in the closer in the same vein than the Looking into checker. the drawers, we have the Cream De La Cube. This is the Cocoa palette. I can, let me get scissors out of here. Just got my nails done race yesterday, so I don't want to break one. This is, this came in a subscription box, so that very wintry is what the inside of that looks like. I have not tried that. Let's see, Dose of Colors and I Heart Sarah E little six pan. These are all my small palettes. The Fula palette by Dubious Place. My friend Christine sent me this one. And then around that same size, I have the Makeup Revolution and Batman. The only reason I bought this palette was because I got it for like $5 on sale. Neutral with a pop of yellow. I have never used it. It looks decent. So Hopefully it is. I have a bunch of ColourPop ones. Um, Christine sent me a few for Christmas. So on the mango. Oh no. Plastic cracked. I've seen that these lids are prone to breaking. Because um, I have another lady that I watch. Rachel. Um, one of hers broke. I don't travel with these just because I'm worried about the lids popping open but they're very good quality as far as the shadow so on the mango just be careful with the lid um mocktail was one that I had already yeah I I ended up decluttering all of my elf little bite size because I think these are so much better see this is sorbet I think this is one did I have this one this I had one pink one and then I I think she sent me, yeah, Sorbet I think was the one I had. She also sent me Feeling Coconutty, which is a smaller version of their coconut neutral palette. Um, she sent me this one, Creamsicle, a little more peachy. And then this is the Aquarius one that she also sent me this. Again, these are very, very good, and ColourPop does put them on sale. So if you can pick them up, they are fabulous. I have a small one from Bella Pierre. This is a four color, it just says nude. So it's just a little, just a little quad. I was gonna try the formula and see how this is. They look like the ColourPop palettes. I'm hoping the formula is just as good as the ColourPop. I, this one is a little like duochrome. There's no name on it. I got it in a subscription box. I have a couple from Hard Candy. I have the green one. I've used the pink one. I don't think I've ever, this one, um, Moods. I don't, I've never used the green one, but this one's good. It's got a little like duochrome, more satiny shimmer, and then two mattes. And I also think these are better than the e.l.f. ones. I've had this forever from the balm. This is the Smoke Balm Little Trio. I usually travel with this because I, if you've been around for a while, I use this as a brow bone and inner corner highlight if I don't have one, just because this is easier to pull out sometimes than getting a highlighter. But th that's why this one has such a large dip. This is a good, like, universal transition shade for me and then if I need to deepen up the outer corner so this is a nice little companion palette this palette is still available on the balms website so I recommend that I have this Chanel quad that my friend Lauren sent me if I can oh there's a button never used it but it's very very pretty I have two from Profusion. I have the more like pinky toned one. I don't know. I got these in an advent calendar, so I don't know if you can purchase these. This one, more cranberry. And then this one kind of reminds me of a smaller version of the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. But Profusion has a good formula, so I kept these. I've never used either one of them, but I have them. I've got a bunch of little Too Faced ones, so it's my jam. Looks like that. Secret Santa, a neutral with a red. This is a really well-rounded one because of the black and the dark brown. Christmas coffee. 
looks like that. I generally get wait for these to go on sale. I don't think I bought any of these at full price except for maybe hot buttered rum. This is the fruitcake palette. Hot buttered rum, orangey neutral. And these again are all, those ones are all really like a good formula. Laura Lee sleigh bells, color, or not color pop, wet and wild, um, lights off. I like the green in this one. You got a little pop of green. And then I like um, the metallics that are in here. The Makeup Revolution Monsters University. This is the Mike and Sully the Scare Card palette. So you got the little, two little quads. My husband's favorite um, character is Mike Wazowski. So that's the only reason I bought this. The formula to me is just okay, but that's the reason I have that. And then I have the, I was able to get the highlighter. This is an LA Girl foreplay. This is in Juicy. Um, I was watching Angelica Nyquist. She did not like these. I think she had this one. She thought the shimmers were kind of dry. They are a little bit dry, but I, I am able to make them work. I like them for like one shadow looks. I'll put a color in the crease and then one of these on the lid. I don't have a problem, but I also use them with a glitter glue, the NYX glitter glue. So that may be why I like them better. And she also has access to more like indie makeup than what I have. So that could be too. It's a personal preference thing, but I have three of them. I have that one, the more green one. And I travel with these. These travel really well. And again, they're nice for like simpler eye looks. And then I have the pink one. So I like them. Um, not everybody does, but I think they're good. I have one from Laura Geller. I've never tried her eyeshadow. So that's, I think you can use these as face highlights too. And then you've got just some warm neutrals. I've got two from Essence. And again, I've never used these. I don't think these are going to be as good as the LA Girl or the ColourPop. But I'm hoping that they're decent. So we'll see. Again, I've seen mixed reviews. People either really like these or they don't. And then I have the dancing green one. Again, never used it. But I have it. These are ones, like, if they're decent, I like them for travel. Because if something happens and they get broken, I'm not out a super expensive palette. Like, when, you know, something, this is a little more, like, this was 25, whereas this is 3. And I used to travel with these. So, again, this is cheaper to replace than even something like this. So, that's, I travel with these, too, for that reason. So, we have the... The Smoke Obsession, which is probably one of my most used. Generally, this is my go-to New Year's Eve palette when I actually do my makeup. The Amethyst Obsession, never used it. Uh, Sapphire Obsession, used it one time, I think. The Emerald Obsession, I've used a fair amount, which is why it's so messy. My red one is with my Valentine palettes. I will try and pull those off the shelf at the very end or <laughs> film over by the shelf. This one, I think I used once. That's the Topaz. And then I have this Pastel Rose one, which I've contemplated decluttering, but the shimmers in this look really pretty. So if this, if these are super light, the shimmers are decent, I might still keep it. So holding on to that. And then I have the nude medium version and that I think I used. I don't know if I actually used this shade or I just swatched it. I don't think I've ever actually used that palette. And then my lime prime, um, this one I think is the pink lemonade, something like that. Um, I still have my blue one. It's in with my daughter's makeup. I gave it to her, but the main reason I have this is because it looks like a poly Moving into my more expensive palettes. I keep this one in there because it's a dupe for Natasha Denona. This is the Goddess palette by Alter Ego. I have the Natasha Denona Retro palette. I have not used her yet, but she looks like that. Um, I got that in a boxy charm. My mother-in-law also got me one for my birthday, so I ended up giving one to my mom, but I have the Zendo palette that I got in a boxy charm. 
the Icon box. Um, I have two larger ones. I have the Circa Loca palette. Mine looks a little bit different because I popped all the shades out and put it more um, organized into colors. So mine looks different, but the, it's easier for me to create looks with it now. And then I also have the um, Tropic palette. It looks like this. I like that it's neutral with a row of colors. I actually have used this one a fair amount. And then I like that my smaller palettes are the same size as these. So I can, I could mix and match them if I wanted to. I have the small Pat McGrath. What is this called? I don't I think this was a rose. Oh, divine rose. It's pretty. I don't think either one of these shimmers that are in here are anything to like. I mean, they're they're nice and they're pretty, but definitely would not have paid full price for this. Again, I got it in a box of charm. Um, my friend Christine sent me this one. This is Makeup Forever. This is in Berry. Very, very pretty. So I'm excited to try that because I don't think I've ever used Makeup Forever's eyeshadow. So I'm excited to give that a go. Uh, Sugar Pill. The original fun size visage this is a beauty moon and ice cream beauty collab for their box um i have these little palettes in with my expensive stuff just because they're all around the same size so the mini breaker from jeffree star and then i also have this from what is this brand called bell cosmetics this is an all shimmer um duo chrome multi-chrome palette okay and then all of my Nata little smaller Natasha these are not the mini so like I said these pan sizes will fit in my are the same size as my larger ones so I could with the holes you can pop all of them out I don't, don't know what this is called uh, my friend Christine sent me this one so it's green I think it's all shimmer which is doesn't bother me at all and I like the browns and the green, so very pretty. Again, I don't know what the name of that one is. This one is the Ayana. This just says eyeshadow palette five. It says five and palette 11, so I don't know what that means. This is the Ayana. Again, this came from a BoxyCharm. I think all of these came from BoxyCharm. Um, Alloy is what that one is called. So again, these are not the minis, but these are like a little five pan, smaller situation. Fez. This is one where people's came really broken. This one I had to smush back in, but mine was not shattered. Some people like this one came completely shattered. Um, this is also one, this is the peak palette that this was made exclusively for BoxyCharm. People had issues with this. Mine seems fine. I have used this one, but again, some people's, I guess, was not. And then this, I think, was for, like, this is the Cupid palette. So, for, a, like, a more Valentine's-themed box. And then I also got this in a boxy charm. This is a smaller Pat McGrath Celestial Nirvana. And I really like this. Again, some people did not. Some of these shimmers will cause my eyelids to irritate a little bit, but it's not anything severe. I just don't wear it two days in a row. And then I like there's a black in here. And it works well with my little quad and my one um, big one that I own, which is the Divine Rose 2. Again, I don't know that I would ever buy another Mega Palette because I don't think they're worth the money. But I like this one. And again, all of mine work well to get into glam light i have um both scooby-doo from their halloween last year i got these on sale excuse me i did not get them when they launched so that was the row, row and this is the creeps and crawls again these got mixed reviews i've never used them so i don't know i have my little street taco palette i still really like this so she's survived many of the declutters the Rick and Morty palette, my husband is a fan of the show, and he really liked the color story of this, so he encouraged me to buy this. Again, I have not used it yet, but it is a very pretty rainbow palette. It's constantly sold out, so if that speaks. Um, this one's very heavy. I've seen some people declutter it recently just because of how big it is, but 
I, I, my daughter, my five-year-old um, loves Scooby-Doo and our two-year-old is getting into Scooby-Doo. So I have the full-size Scooby-Doo. That's the only reason I think I bought the smaller ones. And again, they were on sale. And then the last one in this drawer is the Ghost Face Palette. Okay, so this is an assortment. I've got a uh, Kat Von D, the Lolita. My mirror is bright. I did put tape over this so the mirror would not um, fall out into the eyeshadow. My package got run over in my driveway. The eyeshadows didn't break, just the mirror. Kaleidos Flower Punk. Very, very pretty. Looks like that. Let's see. MAC Classic Beauty. My friend Lauren, the one that got me the little Chanel quad, she gave me this when we were in beauty school for Christmas. Uh, Melt Smoke Session. I keep an eye on this one because I've seen people's mold. And I think because their um, shimmer formula is so thick, it's almost like creamy. Um, so I keep an eye on this, but so far, knock on wood, mine seems fine. I bought this one recently when it was on sale. So this is the Muerte. I got it for $25 with free shipping. So that's the only reason I bought that. I like Melt, but I don't think they're worth the $50 plus dollar price point. This is the Gemini. So I get things on sale. Um, Shroud, the Halloween palette, the collab with fatty bean and then i have her first palette it's freaking bats looks like that and then the other shroud palette that i own is the arcana which was a halloween palette of theirs a couple of years ago it's witch themed jewel toned i think this i compared this to the original hocus pocus palette because this is a punchier version of a very similar color story and this one is still available um, I have the Kaleidos, the Escape Pod. This is very, like, springy. Kaleidos was my favorite brand for a long, long time. I think Odin's Eye has surpassed them. This is the Sci-Fi Futurism 1, Sci-Fi Green. They're discontinuing all of these palettes. So if you're interested in these little six pans, get them while they still have them. They have a marked down. So... Yeah, they're discontinuing all of these. So the Futurism Green, I have the Electro Turquoise. The only one I do not have is the Lunar Lavender. I never bought that one. But I contemplated it. I don't know that I would use it. So I have the Astro Pink. So I did not go on and buy it. But I contemplated it. The Cyber Bronze is one I've traveled with. It's not my favorite color story. But I when I went to Montana several years ago to visit... My grandma for Thanksgiving, this I thought was a good Thanksgiving color story. So there's that. This one I used recently for the first time. This is the VR Neon. And I actually did a whole eye look with just this palette. I was very proud of myself. And then the Futurism 7. This is the Sashimi City. And the duochromes in here are really, really pretty. We've got mostly Nomad, some Give Me Glow, a Melt palette, and then some Tarte. So as you can see, I organize, try to organize by brand if I'm able to. This is the Nomad Hudson Valley. I got that recently when they had a sale. I have not used it yet, but I really like the little pan embossings. Like you got pumpkins, don't like donuts. I Very, very cute palette. That my first, not my, I think might maybe one of my first nomad palettes this is like the harajuku the tokyo pastel palette i still like it you've got mattes satins and then their little toppery shades give me glow haunted pumpkin looks like that not my favorite color story but i've been wanting to get another give me glow palette for a while so i ended up picking that up and then we have nomad orient express again i got it and I got the Hudson Valley palette on sale. This, they were getting ready to discontinue, so it was marked down, and I think I had a discount code. So this, I got this for like 10 bucks. This is the Sweet and Sticky. It's four mattes and two shimmers, just a neutral palette. Let's move that back a little bit. I've got the Tarte Love, Lust, and Fairy Dust. 
This is a good one for me for work. It's easy to use. This one I've never used, but I can't seem to part with it. What is this? I don't even know. High Tides and Good Vibes. It's got some pressed glitters in it, but I don't hate pressed glitters. So she looks like that. Does this smell funny? Maybe a little bit. It's probably the glitters. I may need to consider. The eyeshadow doesn't smell. It's I'm probably smelling <laughs> the glitter so I'll have to be careful if I ever decide to use that and then I've got the original pro from Tarte again these are nice palettes for work they're just easy to use and then I have the remix palette mostly shimmers um the other Beetlejuice this is the recently deceased palette this one's a little bit smaller but the more like Beetlejuice-esque color story my husband bought me the whole collection when this came out, so I have the whole thing, all the pieces. And then my last Give Me Glow is the Christmas Morning. She looks like this. Getting into Odin's Eye and some Unearthly Cosmetics. So I have the Angelica and Odin's Eye Trick or Treat. The Christmas Eve Palette. The Merry Christmas palette. The Snow Dream palette. My husband bought me this for Christmas this year. So I have that one. Then I have the three that they did, the collab. This is Lauren May Beauty's Sea Talk. This is the most used one for me out of the three, which surprised me, but because I thought for sure this one was going to be the most used. This is the Flora Story by Makeup Just for Fun. I think I've only used one or two shimmers out of here. So you never know what you're going to end up loving. And then the Plant Spirit with Betty Jean, who is also Batty Bean, did this one. And I've used a couple. I don't think I've used any of the mattes in here, but I have used a couple of the shimmers out of this one. Um, we have Angelica's other collab. She did the Hella palette. This is her first collab with Odin's Eye. She did a little ghost palette too with for Halloween. I just didn't pick that one up. This is one of my like top five favorite palettes. The Merry Christmas is another favorite. I have the Salmon too. Never used it. Um, the Jewels and Gems palette. Never used it. Very pretty. And then I also have the Stone and Rock palette looks like that more green and then I have an unearthly palette in here this is the leather and lace this is the revised one the older one was a little bit larger than this palette so this one's a little what bit I pulled smaller. back from declutter this is the peach bellini by makeup geek the brand no longer exists this these palettes were right before her re branding and then the brand has since shut down this is the champagne and rose if I don't use this by my next declutter I I may put this back in my declutter only because I have a Sigma palette that I think is very similar. I'm going to look while we're sitting here. So I have the Sigma Corda Rosa palette that looks like this. Yeah, it's almost the same palette. And I think some of the shimmers in here are a little bit. Okay, so I am going to put this back in my declutter. So we'll pass that on to somebody else. I've never used that one. I've used the pink one. And then my other Sigma palette is the Enchanted. I got this, I think on Black Friday last year, not this past Thanksgiving, the one before. I still have not used it yet, but I have it. I have some from Pinky Rose. This is the Bright Lights. There are some pressed glitters in here, which I don't mind, but these I got through BoxyCharm on sale. They were like six bucks a piece. Because the shimmers, I think I'm going to have to add like a liquid shimmer or like a single shimmer, but because this is a more satiny shimmer formula because these are older palettes, but there's the Exotic Peacock. Again, I've never tried any of these. The 80s Baby. Batty Bean has talked about some of those, so that's the reason I picked those up. And then I have Center Stage, which, which is a neutral. Then all of my ABH ones are in here. So we have at least the ones this size. My big ones are in another drawer, but this is the Carly Bible. Jackie Ina, I accidentally broke. That one, I stuck my finger in it. There's a fair amount in there and I don't use this palette often. So 
it's all right. I have my Dose of Colors Desi Katie Frankation palette. Mine still works. Um, the ABH Prism palette is like this. This is one where some of these are starting to hard pan really bad, so I may be letting this one go at some point, but she's still here for now. I have Soft Glam, Modern Renaissance, um, Riviera, Norvina, and last but not least, we have Sultry. Okay, we've got all Too Faced, so this is a random holiday palette. I don't know what this is called. Looks like this. My very first pumpkin spice. This was a collab they did, or not a collab, but a collection they did for QVC. I had, they did a second one and I ended up decluttering it because I never used it. I like this one better. Um, the Fest, Life's a Festival with some like duochromes. The White Chocolate Bar. Cinnamon Swirl. Gingerbread Spice, the original chocolate bar. Mine is a little bit broken, so there's the pumpkin spice in the metal. I didn't like this one at first, but I actually do like it now. And then I also have pumpkin spice second slice that I've never used. I had some requests to do looks on that and I just never got around to it. And then I have the natural nudes, the first one. I like this one. This is also a good travel palette. And then I have their um, Too Faced Then and Now. This was for their birthday several years ago. And it's, it's a big one, but I still like it. People, I think, didn't get on with this because it's only got like three mats or something, but I always, I've always liked this Urban palette. Decay. So we have the Stoned Vibes, like that. The Electric, my daughter's room is right above me if you're not familiar, and my husband's trying to get our two-year-old to take a nap. So the Electric Palette. Uh, moon Dust, it's all shimmers. Like that. We have the Naked Honey, Naked Wild West that I've never used, I don't think. I think I swatched it, but I don't think I've actually used it. Um, Naked Cherry. This one was one of my favorites for a long time. Um, Naked Heat. I thought about decluttering, never been able to declutter it, like it still. And then one of my favorites is Game of Thrones. You've got, you know, the Iron Throne. It's a little bit of a beast of a palette. And then the palette comes out here, if you're not familiar. This again, got mixed reviews. You've only got, again, like three mattes and then the rest of it shimmer, but I've always really liked this palette. So she's still there's a random assortment. So here's my other Be Bella palette. I talked about the rose one in my Valentine video, but this one's so pretty. I haven't used it yet. There is one press glitter, but again, press glitters don't bother me, but look how pretty this palette is. So pretty. Um, Poppy Cosmetics, the Neon Drip. I had thought about decluttering this, but this is a good companion palette for some of my other neon ones. These shades in here, as bright as they look, are a little bit lighter on the eyes, but it makes, again, a nice companion palette. So then I have like blending shades for some of my other like neon palettes. The LA Girl Pro, one of you guys sent me this which is very good. And I've liked, I like the color store, so I've kept it. These are good quality. Um, Beauty Bay Book of Magic looks like this. This one's been discontinued, which is sad, but very, very pretty. Black Moon Cosmetics. This is the Orb of Light. This is an all matte palette. I bought this on Poshmark. You can still get this on their website, but I got mine used because I was trying to get a good, better deal on it. The um, Urban Myth. People loved this or they hated it. I like it, especially using it with this 
because you've got some shimmers and then you've got a row of mattes. Not the best. Like there are some dual chromes in here, but I do like it. And then the packaging is really, really cool. So there's that. I've got BH Cosmetics, the blueberry muffin. I ended up decluttering the avocado toast. I never used it. Didn't see myself using it, but this one I, ha I have actually used. It's really pretty. My other um, Beauty Bay the Berries palette. I bought this one in the Earthy at the same time. Um, my Beauty Bakery, I pulled back into my collection. So here's the breakfast in bed. I don't know why I have a hard time letting these go. I think because Beauty Bakery was such a sought after brand for me when they first came out. And then this is the banana pudding. Proof is in the pudding. And it was something with pudding. Okay, and then I have the Sephora Destinations. Which one this is? It's got this on the cover and the inside looks like this. So you actually have, um, like this one's a duo chrome and then the shimmer. So I don't think I've actually used that, but that one was like $15. It's really inexpensive. Um, Sydney Grace, the Enduring Love. This is the darker one. So the lighter version, I think is the shade. Two of the shades are different. So I don't have a good brow bone highlight in here because I went with the darker version, but this just know there are two versions of this, but the shimmers in here are really nice. And again, this travels pretty well. And then I have one that one of you guys sent me. I haven't used it yet. This is the No Place like Home by Peachy Queen. I've never tried this brand. Again, I haven't used this palette. I Peachy Queen is one that I've seen on Instagram. I mostly have kept this for the pressed glitters because I had to throw away a lot of my pressed glitters. They had expired my singles. But never actually gotten around to using it, but it's very, very pretty. Getting into the big drawers now. Okay, so I have the Gourmand Girls and Cosmic Peaches, the Power Palette. I really like this a lot. And it, you've got some really neat duo chromes in there. Wicked Widow, the Graveyard Smash. Absolutely love this palette. The brand, it seems, the owner's really nice. I've had some correspondence with her on Instagram. Um, I want to get the one that's the same size, the teacup, the Alice in Wonderland themed one. Um, I heard that those two, um, these two, that this one and that one work well together. So that's the next one from them that I'm looking at. I have the Tweely Living My Best Life, Lottie London. I had a hard time getting this palette. This brand is available at Walmart now, but this is a UK brand and it took me like six months to track down a website that I could get this shipped to the States um, and I've never used it. It was one of those coveted items because Makeup by Missy used to rave about this and she doesn't even have this palette anymore, but I can't get rid of it because it took me so long to get it. The Sweet Pinks by Juvia's Place and then I have the Nubian Glow. The Nomad. The only one that's not in here is the little one that I showed you from the first, very first drawer. The Tribe is probably my favorite still, which they discontinued this, which I thought was dumb. The Festival, which I can't, this has survived several declutters. This is one I've decluttered and pulled back. The Warrior is a pretty, like, neutral palette. And then this one has also been decluttered and pulled back. This is the Nubian 2. I don't know what it is and I still use this palette and there's dust but yeah this one has survived several declutters. This is a new one. This is the Hearth by Chantico Beauty. Very very cool color story. Um, the Secret Grow from Gourmand Girls. Again, two pretty duo chromes. Mine's a little bit messy because the shade cracked, but I was able to fix it. Um, this is Mermaid Scales Cosmetics and Ice Cream Beauty. This is the Mermaid Tails palette they did for one of their boxes. And I've got um, Lunar Beauty. This has this come out. This is the original Moon Spell. This one is not available anymore. You can still get it probably on like Poshmark, Macari, but... I never got the second one just because I don't use, that one's mainly pink and purple. I don't use purple a ton, so I never picked up the second moon spell. I do have the Strawberry Dream palette, which is very pretty. And then I also have the Nude Prism, which I got in a boxy charm. So it looks like that. I've got the Nabla Secret palette, which I've 
never used this one. I have used the Nabla side by side. This is one of my favorite neutral, whoops, neutral palettes. The Carnival All Stars. This is the only Carnival palette I've owned. Never used it. I have the Cosmic Brushes, the Serenity palette. There's, I think it's the Muse palette from them that I'm interested in getting, but other than those two, probably won't get any more for a while from them unless there's one that really like jumps out at me. And then I have Sample Beauty, the Equalizer Volume 2. I think I never used that. Okay, Item Beauty in my element. I did save this from Declutter only because like a couple of these shimmers look really pretty. They're almost like duo chromey. And then I like you've got the cool toned mauve row and then the orange row. So I'm going to try and get to this this year if I don't use it by my next declutter, then I will pass it on then. But it was very pretty. The shimmers in here are very pretty. So I was tempted to save it. This is the Rasha Beauty, the candy palette. I got this in the Slay Glam box. I re-signed up specifically because I wanted to get this palette. There's some pretty duo chromes in here. This is the Thankful from Color Beauty. Very pretty. I have some from Wander Beauty. This is the Wanderous Escape. I really like their formula. Not everybody does. This is the Sweet Escape. A little more purple. I've got the Maui Best Dressed palette. I did get this in a box, subscription box, and decluttered it. And then my parents got me a makeup bundle two Christmases ago. And this was in there. So I got it again. Um, the Spooked palette from Gourmand Girls looks like that. And then their newest one from this past Halloween is the Haunted palette. I actually really like this one. I used this one a bunch this past season. Okay. Let's see here. And then we've got ColourPop in this drawer. So we've got the Mandalorian. Sage of the Day, which I did do a video comparing these two. That's taupe. These, the ones in the, the monochromatic ones on the cardboard, I leave. The ones that I had in the plastic, I have in my single, like, Z palette. Um, Kathleen Light's the Zodiac palette I still have. Her Dream Street collab I still have. Hocus Pocus. Let's see, this is the Witching Hour. This was their second collab. I had some people that didn't like this palette and then like I saw people like these two shades didn't work I didn't have any problems with mine so I think maybe that one's a hit and miss um the Star Wars palette which mine looks a little bit different I added an extra blue so like mine has this shade I took out one of the silvers and added an extra blue because you've got a super dark blue in there and I wanted another blue for Blending, I'll put that back in a second. Um, and again, my Welcome Foolish Mortals palette looks different. I added this green and that green, so my palette looks a little bit different. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, really nice Christmas themed palette. Through my eyes, this is the I, I Love Sarah E collab. It's an older one misunderstood this is one that i decluttered and actually repurchased on sale because i missed it um the original hocus pocus i like it not everybody did and then i have their third which is probably my favorite because of the bright brighter colors and we have ace Bute classical paradise really really like this the pigmentation on these mats is uh, amazing. Um, Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Storm. Really pretty. I have berries and cream. Looks like that. And then I also have Rustic Glam, which is very pretty. And then Laura Lee's um, Nudie Patootie. Um, Nudes of New York from Maybelline looks like this is a really good one. I don't know if all of Maybelline's eyeshadow is good, but that one is good. The Profusion 
the mauve one. This, these are about five bucks from Walmart. And then I also have the Meadows. The mauve's one is really good. I haven't used this one, but it does have some dual chromes in it. So I'm hopeful. Dangerous Love from Profusion. This was a Valentine palette. I bought it for the packaging on sale. And then my husband bought me this one. This is the Chilled. This is the green one. And then I have the Soap X, her original palette with Makeup Revolution. I got this one on Poshmark because it had already been discontinued. This is the Extra Spice palette. These are decent, but they're not like my favorite drugstore. And then I have, I don't know what this one's called, Super Spice. Looks like that. Uh, this is Saints. This is with Just Anne and Saint Angels and Sinners for Slay Glam. Another winter themed palette. And then the same brand, Saints, Angels, and Sinners, a collab with Ice Cream Beauty. This is the Friendsgiving palette. Ice Beauty Falling for You. Vintage Dawn. These last ones are all Ace Beauty. Scarlet Dusk. Oceanic. My friend Christine sent me one of these. And then Nostalgia looks like that. So I've got two sugar pill. This is the original, the pink one. Looks like this. And then I have these capsule palettes. I got the orange one too. I don't know what these, these have names. These are ones I've decluttered and brought back because I had better storage, but these are a pain to store. I do like them. The quality is still good, but they're not the most fun to store. Ciate London. This is a woman. I am woman. Palette. Pinky mauve. And then this is the Brazilian Glow, which is just a pretty neutral palette. I like their formula. I think it's decent. I had my friend Christine ask me about this one. So this is the Lime Crime Greatest Hits Bangers palette. They did two of these. They did this one and then one of their like little or eight pan had similar packaging. They were a holiday palette from a few years ago. I bought this on Poshmark. I did not get it new. Um, so it's just a collection of some of their most popular shades from all of their palettes. So everything in here is an existing shadow or an existing shade in another palette. So if you have all of their palettes, then you're going to have this. The only difference is like, obviously the, the shades are more curated. I have traveled with this one just because I like the shimmers. The shimmers in this Venus XL are terrible, but this one actually has some nice ones from some other palettes. So yeah. That's what that one is. I never got the eight pan. I think there was a couple of crossovers between this and that, and I liked this one better, but you can get them on Poshmark. So here is the Venus XL. The shimmers in here are very satiny. So again, I usually will bring in another palette when I use this one. I did finally declutter all of my Venus, like eight, the eight pan palettes. I did finally let those go. I have the Jolie Beauty Vampirism palette. I think this one's fine. Their formula is not my favorite. My husband bought me this. I like the color story and the packaging. Um, Huda Beauty. This is the Rose Gold Remastered. This is by Oakland. This is, I think this is a dupe for the Naughty palette. And then I have the Huda Beauty, the Mercury Retrograde. I love this palette. So, so pretty. And then I have my three big um, Narvina. This is volume three, these big pro ones. So volume three, my husband bought me this one. Um, I got this one with a gift card. This is volume one. My mother-in-law had given me a gift card. So I got this, never used this, but I have it. And then I also have volume four which is a pink one I actually had ended up with two of these because one of them came a little bit broken and I fixed it so I put that one in a giveaway and this is my other one but very very pretty 
last drawer and then I'll show you what's on my display. So I have Blue Blood from Jeffree Star. Looks like that. The Me, Myself and Mitchell. This is the Beauty Bay palette. This one was discontinued. You've got the warm side and the cooler side. Really, really good. Really, really good palette. I have the KVD. This was the Saint and Sinner palette. Looks like that. The Cremation palette by Jeffree Star. Jawbreaker. The Burn Book by Storybook Cosmetics. This brand does not exist anymore. I got this palette for like 10 bucks on sale. Um, never used it, have it for the packaging. It's super bulky, but, and again, uh, this brand does not exist. You can still get their palettes on Poshmark. The little Lorac Beauty and the Beast palette. This one's old. Again, my husband bought me this. I do have the blush. Oh, it's magnetized in there. So the brush tends to stick. I do have the cheek palette that came with this. Also, if you watched my blush declutter, let's see, this is the BH, the Zodiac. I had the Zodiac too, the Love Signs. Didn't like that one as much as I thought, so I gave it to my friend Lauren um, before she moved, but I still like this one. Haven't used it a ton, but I do like it. A couple of Morphe palettes. Um, this is the 35M, the Boss Move. Very, very similar to the Jolie Beauty Vampirism palette as far as color story. My friend Lauren bought me this when I, um, as a present for when I passed, not necessarily passed, but took my practical, I, for my cosmetology license, I did pass, but what is this one called? This is the 35C. I still like the color story of this. You do have a pressed glitter, but I don't know, something about this one. I like this for like winter time. And then I have the 35S, the Sweet Oasis. Um, don't really need this one per se. And this one, if I don't use it the next year, may declut declutter it later. But it's pretty. And it's not, like, overly repetitive. The Z palette that I keep all of my palettes that I've, like, depotted. I've got all of my ColourPop monochromatic. And then these are some ColourPop, some Makeup Geek. And then Lunatic Cosmetics. And then these three are Odin's Eye Singles. This is the Bloodlust from Jeffree Star. And then I also have my Alien palette from Jeffree Star. Flower Beauty, I have the Desert Lights All Shimmer palette. I want to get the other one that they have too. Their shimmers are really really pretty and then I bought her um, ET palette really really cool pretty palette I don't love this thing but really really neat um, I swapped out a shade from my all that palette one of my shades the one that used to be here expired so I put a different one in it so mine looks slightly different um, the Whatever palette. A lot of these were featured in my Valentine video if you watched that. Chucky, Glam Light, um, Mauve Obsession from Huda Beauty, and then Ruby that I've never used. Unearthly, the um, Sleepover palette. Looks like that. Glam Light Strawberry Shortcake, and then Adept Cosmetic, and Adept, yeah, I think, is it Adept? The Amunet Palette looks, yeah, it is Adept Cosmetics, the Amunet This palette. is the last group. Okay, Unearthly, the Surrender Palette. These were in, all in my display area. Lethal Cosmetics, Midnight Serenade. Very, very cool. I haven't tried this one yet. This is my first lethal palette, so I'm excited. Gourmand Girls Warriors Wear Pink. Nomad, the Verona, Love and Death. Looks like that. 
Nomad Haunted Europe. My friend Christine sent me this one and she also sent me the Ghost Town USA from Nomad. This was their recent Halloween October launch. The Shades of Rose by B. Bella. Talked about this one earlier with the pastel. Sweetheart by Lorella. Really, really good palette. Super impressed with their formula. The other blend palette, blend bunny palette that I own is the All Done Up. Looks like that. And the very last palette. Should we play the music? It's Jurassic Park and Profusion. So you got the little like cardboard cutout. And then the palette looks like that. So that is my entire collection. I only decluttered one, but one's better than none. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought of all of my palettes. Did you have a favorite? You know, was there one that really stood out to you? Is there any that you want to see me do dedicated videos on? If there are, please leave me those comments also. Thank you guys so, so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in another video. Bye everybody.